made it very difficult for newspapers to stay in business. And there are a number of reasons for that. One, it made it very difficult for them to get the supplies they needed. Uh, most of the printing presses came from England and that supply got cut off. Uh, ink and paper could be made here in America, but it was not easy to do. Sometimes it was easier to import it and that also got cut off. And so just getting the supplies they needed was difficult. Uh, getting the news from Europe was difficult, which was when newspapers were first started, that's what they were primarily designed to do, was to tell Americans what was going on in Europe. And so those information sources got cut off. But it also became very difficult for the producers of the newspapers, for the printers, because uh, they had come down on one side or the other, either for the Americans or for the British, and depending on who was in control where they were, that could be a problem. So you have a number of printers who have to flee in order to escape the other side uh, when uh, after Lexington and Concord, or before Lexington and Concord, the uh, several printers in Boston will flee. Uh, Benjamin Eads moves out of town and his partner John Gill stays and gets arrested and thrown in jail. Uh, Isaiah Thomas moves to Worcester. He was planning to move back to Boston, but he never did. And then through, that happens throughout the colonies. There's a printer in New York uh, who was in New York City and it, within a month fled to Kingston and then to Poughkeepsie because he was trying to get away from the British Army. And you see that with uh, loyalist printers too, who have to, the only place they can stay in business is areas where the British Army's in control. And so the war makes it very, very difficult for printers if they happen to be in an area where the armies are operating.